Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take a look at VMware Workstation and actually go over creating a virtual machine. So in previous videos I had a pre-made machine, I just downloaded it off the internet and I was up and running. But in many cases you want to make a virtual machine from scratch. So before you do that you probably should have the install DVD or at least the ISO uh, a lot of cases, myself, I like using the ISO. I don't mess with DVDs or, or physical discs anymore. So you download the ISO from the internet. If you don't know how to do that, uh, you should probably shoot yourself at this point. I'm assuming you, you know how to do that. But So let's assume you have a Ubuntu 64-bit Linux install ISO that you've downloaded. Pretty easy to make it. To make the virtual machine, you go to File and New and click on Virtual Machine. It's going to ask you what configuration do you want. I usually just do typical. Click next. And you can see here you've got multiple options. If you have the actual physical disk or CD, then you could pop it into your drive and it will run it from there. If you've got the ISO, which I have, so you can see here as I pull over my other menu, I've got an external drive and I've got a XP Pro Service Pack 3 ISO that I found uh, somewhere on the internet. And I'm going to select that. Oh, look at all that stuff. Microsoft, and we're going to pick that ISO right there. Windows XP Professional Detected. So VMware is pretty good. It actually detects a lot of the, the ISOs, and then it will try to do easy install. You can also do this, which is pretty interesting. I will install the operating system later, and what it will do is it will create a file on your hard drive that's completely blank. It emulates a blank hard drive that you could mess with it later on. But in our case, we're going to do it by ISO image. We're going to click Next. Windows product key, uh, we're going to ignore that. Uh, personalized Windows, I'm going to say Bob, and I'm going to leave the password and stuff empty. Click next. Ba, 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 may require you. Okay, we're gonna say yes. We're gonna continue. Virtual machine name Windows XP for professional, and it's gonna say it's gonna pop the file right there under Documents Virtual Machines and that really long folder name right there. And we're just gonna click on next. Here it's specifying the disk capacity. How many gigs do you want to give it? We're going to give it, uh, let's see here, three gigs. How about that? Store virtual disk as a single file. That's what I like to do. So three gigs. We're going to give it 512 megs. That's fine. And everything looks good. You can customize this by clicking on Customize Hardware. And you could move the sliders and do all types of stuff. That looks good to me. We're going to click uh, Finish and keep this on Power On. It's going to give you a wonderful uh, big toolbar down here. I'm going to close that. I don't really need it. And you can see it's going through my Windows XP setup just as if I popped in a Windows install CD into my computer. So it's pretty nice. I don't have to mess with the actual physical disk if I've got the ISO image. Now this will work just as well if you're using Linux. If you've got the ISO image for Linux, it's pretty nice. So, it's actually installing everything to a file on the hard drive. And what's really cool is that I can use this operating system after it's done for software testing, uh, virus and Trojan testing. If I want to go on the internet and I'm not exactly sure of a web page, whether it's infected with malware, well, hey, I can, I can go in there with my virtualized Windows XP. If it gets infected, no big deal. I just nuke the virtual machine and start over. Okay, we're not going to wait through all of this stuff because you'll be waiting for several minutes. I'm going to hit Control alt to get back my cursor. I'm going to pause the video, and then when we come back, Windows XP will be done. Okay, we're back. We're actually not done, but I'm going to show you another cool feature of VMware Workstation. Since I'm running this inside of VMware, I can actually move this window across. I've got another screen here, so I'm going to just move my VMware off screen and you can see here I've 
have Mozilla Firefox open, I can just browse the web while the install is going on inside of VMware. So I can definitely multitask a lot in here. And also another cool thing is that you can have multiple VMware installs going or you could have, uh, you know, you could be installing VMware X, Windows XP inside of VMware and you could have Linux already r up and running and going. You're really only limited by how much RAM and processing power you have. If you have a lot of RAM, you can run a lot of virtual machines. And if you have a pretty fast processor, you can run them all at a good clip. So, okay, looks like our virtual machine's already rebooted, and now we're going through the main part of the install inside of Windows XP. So you can see here, I've got 39 minutes left. I'm going to just move that out. And you can see here, I could surf the web. I could go to my favorite web pages. I've got a fast enough computer. It's not going to skip a beat. And actually, let's go down here. We'll go to Start Task Manager. Let's look at my performance. It's not bad. It's going about 23, 20 to 30%. And that's also because I've got a screen recording going on right now. But you can see it's it's definitely not bad. Close out that. Move my VMware back to my main window. Maximize that out. And I'm going to pause the video again. And when we're back, hopefully Windows XP will be all done. All right, we're back, and let's see if our Windows XP install finished correctly. I'm going to just drag this over, and hey, look at that. We were all booted up. Um, as you can see, I was surfing on Craigslist. Okay, let's maximize that. And let's see, we've got uh, MSN Messenger. This is pretty small resolution. Let's see if I can change that. Uh, I hate this desktop, so I'm going to make it none. Go to Appearance. Font effects, uh, kill the fade effect, we'll make it clear type since I'm on the laptop. Let's see if that works. Go to settings. 640 by 480, let's make this uh, 1024 by 768. It's got to be in there somewhere. There we go. Click OK. You can see here VMware resizes, so it's pretty nice. So it's uh, pretty good. Well, let's see if we have internet. Double click on Firefox. All right, internet works. Minimize that. Let's see how big our hard drive is. It should be the five gigs that we gave it. There it is, five gigs. Cool, so everything looks as normal. Yeah, looks as normal. Everything's good. All right, so that was a quick and easy video of creating your own VMware virtual machine and this was done with Windows XP Professional. Thanks for watching.